Hey everyone, welcome to another video in my Intro to HTML series. In this video, I'm going to talk about white space as it applies to things inside of the browser. We talked about white space before, but it was it was how we space out our our markup and how we space out our code. I talked about how usually you put something on its own line, you tab things over. Um, when you have nested tags, so I've got my header nested inside of body, I tab that over one from the body. I've got my h1 nested inside of header, I tab that over one from the body, right from the header. Um, that's how we deal with white space in our markup and in our code. But white space in the browser is a little bit different. In a previous video, we made this uh, web page. <coughs> The web page had a header with an H1. It had three articles, each article containing an H2 and three paragraphs. So you've got three of those. And we had a footer with a paragraph and small print. We did some styling to it. We talked about CSS and we talked about properties and values. I set a color to the body. I set a background color to the article. I set a background color to header and footer. I set uh, font family to H1 and H2. And I set font size, font family, and color to paragraphs. And what it ended up looking like was this. One thing about this is things feel really tight, really scrunched up. In other words, we've got content touching the edge of their containers. We've got these containers collapsed down, right down to the content. What I'm talking about here is if you look at this text on the left side, it's touching the edge of its box. That feels really crowded to me, and it makes it hard to read. It's really unappealing. I have spaces in between my headings and my paragraphs, and spaces in between my paragraphs. All these types of spaces are what I would call white space. So these spaces right here in between the H2 and my paragraph, this space in between is called white space. There is no white space in between the edge of my content and the edge of the box. We want to try and find a happy medium for our white space. Get enough white space in between our different sections and get enough white space in between the edges of our of our content and our boxes so that the, the document feels um, it feels easy to read and it feels like things have enough space. Things have, I like to say, room to breathe. So how do we do this? White space is going to be controlled with something called margin and something called padding. I'm going to start with padding a little bit, okay? I'll go to article and I'll use the padding property. Padding is going to control the space around the content between the edge of the content and the edge of the box. If I go padding 2%, for example, save it, look at it in the browser. So right now there's no padding. I saved it and I'll refresh it. Now you see some padding appeared. See, we got some space right in here between the edge of our words and the edge of the box. We got a little bit more space here in between the bottom of our content here and the bottom of its box and the top of the other um, box below it. When I added that padding, these articles kind of scrunched together. We lost that space in between it. I'm going to undo this really quickly. Save it again so you can see what it looked like before. That's what it looked like before. We've got these spaces in between our articles. And then we've got no spaces at the edges. Put the padding back in. Oops. Save it. Refresh it. And we've got a little bit more room to breathe here. The padding feels a little bit spaced out a little bit better. That's padding. Padding controls the space in between the edge of the contents and the edge of its box. And essentially, it pushes the edge of a box away from the content, gives us a little bit more room. Margin. Margin controls the spaces in between the edge of one box and the edge of another box. I'm going to set the margin on my articles I'm going to set it to something large right now so you can really see how it affects it. 
10%. Save it. Refresh it. Boom. It shrunk down. I've got 10% of space in between the edge of my box for my article and the edge of the other box. I've also got 10% of space in between the edge of my box for my article and the bottom of my header. I've got 10% space in between the edge of the box for my article and the edge of the browser. That's what margin does. It pushes things away from the outer edge of boxes. Now this margin is really huge. I don't mind it on the sides. That actually looks kind of nice on the sides, but on the top and bottom, it's a little bit too much. So let's try this. I'm going to go margin dash left 10%, margin dash right 10%, save it, refresh in the browser. Now I don't have any margins on the top and bottom. See, no margins on the top and bottom. It took those away, but I've got margins on the left and right. That feels pretty good. I kind of like that. Maybe I want just a little bit of margin on the top and bottom. Margin dash top. Maybe 1%. Margin dash bottom. Maybe I get my 1%. Save it and refresh it. I got a little bit of space there. So we can control margins as a whole or we can control the left, right, top, and bottom all on their own. That's a little bit about white space. We're going to look at this more in the future when we talk about the box model. Thanks for watching.